Hello everyone. In continuation with the Fourier series expansion, we are dealing here with the period 2L kind of functions where we will be discussing here with the minus L 2L. Now this minus L 2L might be any number, but the approach of that, this particular type of questions are same. And as we have done a, a ample amount of questions because only the, there is a difference between the interval minus L 2L, rest of the entire procedure is same. I have taken only one part or only one type of question here and given few questions for the self-observation slide. Find the Fourier series of f of x. x is from minus 1 to 0 and it is the function is x minus x plus 2 in the interval 0 to 1. Now if you observe this interval is from minus 1 to 1. Interval is from minus 1 to 1. So if I am comparing this interval with c to c plus 2l, it becomes c is equals to minus 1 and this c plus c uh, 2l, this becomes 1. c is minus 1, so this 2l becomes here 2 and l is equals to 1. So we have got it, the value of l is equals to 1 over here. So the Fourier series, this f of x is equals to a0 plus summation a n cos of n pi x by l plus summation b n sine of n by x by l. So here after putting the value of l, we will have this type of series. So Fourier series would be a0 plus summation a n cos of n pi x because this l is equals to 1 over here. So this l becomes here 1 and therefore it is cos of n pi x sine of n pi x. So This is what is the series whenever I am having the interval as minus 1 to 1. Suppose I am having the interval as minus 5 to 5 I am going to get my L is equals to 5. If I have got the interval as minus uh, 3 to 3, the L va the value of L becomes 3. And that is why we have taken, we have we will be considering only one question here because the difference and all, almost all the uh, type of examples, the algebraic, exponential, the trigonometric, the entire type of functions we have already discussed in the, uh, from the 0 to 2 pi minus L to minus pi to pi and from 0 to 2, 2L. And that is why I have taken here L is equals to, so this is minus 1 to 1 interval. I have discussed here the one question. A0 is equals to 1 upon 2L integration from minus L to L f of x dx. Because we have got the interval minus L to L, so there is a only change in this minus L to L and we will be putting the value here of L 1 by 2 integration from minus 1 to 0 because we have got this function as a piecewise function where the f of x has been divided, divided into two intervals or defined in two different intervals. One is from minus 1 to 1, the value is x and another is 0 to 1, the value is x, minus, x plus 2. And the integration part is very simple for this type of functions. x square by 2 for the x minus 1 to 0 and x square by 2 plus 2x from 0 to 1. After putting the limits over here, the upper limit and the lower limit, we are going to get it. The value of this A0 is equals to 1. Similarly, A n is 1 upon L integration minus L to L f of x cos of n pi x by L. Because of this L is equals to 1, the formula becomes here. Minus, because I have got 1 by 1, so it's no, no need to write it down. So we did not write down here. Because the value of L, value of L is equals to 1 here. And this is minus 1 to 1, x cos of n pi x dx plus this. So we have got here two integrals. First integral is x cos of n pi x. So this is my first, this is the second function. First function as it is, second function. The integration of the second function that is cos, integration is sin n pi x upon n pi. Now this is not first, this is not second. This becomes our first, this becomes the second function. Then first function minus of the differentiation of the first function into integration of the second would give us minus of cos of n pi x upon n square pi square. This is not first. This is not second. This becomes first. This becomes second. Now, plus in the plus differentiation of the first function would give, give me here 0. Plus 0. And that is no need to write down. And that is why we have not written the next step. Then integration is from minus 1 to 0. Plus, this is my second function, second integral, first and the second in second function, first function integration of the second, 
then this is not first this is not second even this is not first this is not second differentiation of first function is here and the uh, integration of the second function is here and the next function would be equals to plus zero 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 and that is why we have not written from here and we have not written here else as well integration is for zero to one so if i'm i have got this sine of n and pi and this this uh, these are the identities which we were discussing until now let us discuss about this sine term where i have to take the upper limit as zero and the upper limit as minus one so what will happen with this sine n pi x this becomes 0 when x is equals to 0 and this becomes 0 when x is equals to minus of 1. It's a minus 1 here. Minus 1. Therefore, this particular term becomes 0 for the upper and the lower limit of this particular x. Similarly, this sine n pi x becomes 0 for x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 0. So, if you will observe here, sorry. So, if you will observe here, we have got sine 0 is 0, sine minus n pi is also 0, sine of n pi is also 0. And therefore, we have to make use of this identity to get this up. Now, because what we have got it as sin n pi x is 0, cos sin n pi x 0, we have to just deal with this particular function. So, we have to put upper and the lower limit of this particular function itself. What has happened there? So, it's a cos of 0. So, this is upper limit is cos of 0, lower limit is minus of cos of so, every x been replaced as minus of 1. So, that becomes cos of 0 upon n square pi square minus cos of minus n pi upon n square pi square. This is minus, this is minus becomes plus and therefore we have got it here plus sign. What has happened here? The same thing has happened here plus minus minus becomes plus and therefore we have got it in plus sign here and upper limit is x has been replaced as 1 that is cos of n pi. And the next time x is x replaced as 0, so minus of cos of 0, n square pi square. Again, we know this identity that is cos of minus n pi is cos of n pi and cos of n pi is minus 1 to the power n. And cos of 0, let me write down that as cos of 0 is equals to 1 always. And therefore, we will be, uh, we will, we can show that, uh, see that from here, from this identity that the a n value becomes here 0. Okay. So, Bn is 1 by L. Again, this is the same, same, almost similar kind of question what we are doing it. First function, second function. Please go through it and uh, try to do it on your own. So, first function, second function, that is a uh, LIAT rule or you can say the integration by parts by musical chair. And then, this is sine of n pi x again becomes 0 for x is equals to 0 and equals, x equals to minus 1. Similarly, this becomes here 0 for x is equals to 1 and uh, x is equals to 0. Therefore, we have to, again, this is the same identity we have, what we have used. Then putting the upper limit and the lower limit for this particular functions over here, we are going to get something like this. And after that, this is the identity we are going to use it. That is cos of minus n pi, cos of n pi is minus 1 to the power n and cos of 0 is equals to 1. We are going to get at this type of function. And therefore, if you will observe, this is equals to 2 upon n pi 1 minus 2 into minus 1 to the power n that becomes our bn. So, this is what is our bn and this is the series. Therefore, the if you will observe this, we have got a0 as 1, an we have got at 0 and this is what is our bn. So, therefore, we are just putting the values of a0, an and bn. a0 is equals to 0. So, we have not written over here. bn we have got the value. A0 also we have got the value as 1 and if we will just simplify this particular function just by putting n equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on, we are going to get it as this kind of function, right? which is 1 minus 2 into minus 1 to the power n upon n and we are just putting n equals to 1. So, this is the value for n equals to 1, n equals to 2, n equals to 3 and so on, right? And this is what is just an example, it's a, just the expansion of this particular Fourier series. So, this is for for this bn, I have already explained you an, I have not explained this bn in detail just to keep you engaged and just to keep you uh, tacked with the, the concept of this. Just pause the video for a while instead of see, just going through each and every step, uh, pause the video after an and just try to get the bn what we have got it as that of an. Yeah, and this is the self-observation slide for, for which you have got uh, two questions. 
which has been divided in uh, which is the uh, interval minus 5 to 5 minus 1 to 1 you need to co compare here the interval minus 5 to 5 compare it with c to c plus 2l and then get the value of l here similarly do the same thing here and then start the question right and this is the exact this is the answer what i have given it to you just to uh, uh, get the per perfect idea for this type of examples yeah this is from my side for the interval minus l to l thank you happy learning